If you notice, I'm recording this video with only natural lighting, and it's super quiet in here. That's because the uh, power is out. Just wanted to show you how many stations you can receive when there's no interference from electronic devices. So, uh, for once I'd say hopefully this power outage holds for a, a minute or two. I think that's 880, CBS 880 from Long Island. AM 680. I generally don't receive much of anything below AM 680 even during the night just because there's so much interference in that point of the band. Or that part of the band, I should say. I guess that's it, but that's quite a few stations. I do receive more than that at night, generally, but uh, I've never picked up that many stations during the daytime. This is a Zenith Royal uh, 500E, or I should say 500WE1. The W is for white, and the E is, I guess, the revision. And then one was a, a change to the E model, which was to remove the output transformer. I guess I'll do a full video on this thing at uh, some point. Just wanted to show you guys. You know, how many stations you can pick up when there aren't all these switching power supplies and all these other things, uh, you know, kicking out a bunch of RFI. I'm kind of surprised this power outage is going on uh, for so long, though, to be honest. It's actually a nice, calm day out there, so it's definitely unusual. Hopefully it gets fixed soon. The power is currently out, so I'm trying out shortwave uh, during the day. It's like uh, 1130 or so. I'm receiving single sideband transmissions on the uh, 49 meter band. That's what it sounds like with the uh, BFO off. That's with it on. Monday night. Variable winds less than 10 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Tuesday. South winds less than 10 knots. That's nice and clear. He's two feet or less. Tuesday night. Alright, let's South see what else we can find. To 15 knots. I'm going to put back to AM while I look, search. On some uh, frequency settings, that antenna trim control is pretty sensitive. It's one of the annoying things about this design, to be honest. 
you think they could have driven that control via the uh, the Omega Hertz set and then had a true fine tune as opposed to like a, a very coarse tuning like you don't really get anything if it's too far out from where it's supposed to be basically just adjust it for maximum noise and then start finding stations so there's the right spot let's try another uh, band there's some short stations on the you know 2 megahertz range Sounds like another single sideband station. Or perhaps not. Oh, there we go. You can hear how much the uh, RFI just kicked up. And the power came back on. And there goes those stations. Alright, thanks for watching.